the power of this electromagnet can be increased by increasing the number of turns of the coil it can also be increased by increasing the flow of current through the coil let us also not forget electromagnet can also be turned off by stopping the electric flow of current which made it a magnet now that we are clear about the electromagnet let us now understand how an electromagnet is used in the functioning of an electric bell let us see the simplified circuit of an electric bell with the switch in off position it consists of a coil of wire wound on an iron piece bent to form u shape like a horseshoe magnet a spring loaded arm made of an iron strip is kept close to the electromagnet this arm has a hammer attached to it at one end let us call it a clapper a small gong or bell is also placed near the hammer see there is a contact screw near the clapper now let us switch on the circuit and the fun begins right now the clapper is in the contact with the screw so the circuit is complete and the current flows through the coil due to the current flow the coil becomes an electromagnet the electromagnet then pulls the clapper towards itself in this process the hammer at the end of the clapper strikes the gong of the bell to produce a sound let us see what else happened when the electromagnet pulled the clapper and we heard the hammer striking the gong look closely right now the clapper is not in contact with the screw the circuit is broken now so what will happen next the current through the coil will stop flowing will the coil remain an electromagnet no it wouldn't the coil is no longer an electromagnet as we know it's the flow of the current that gives the coil its magnetic power so it no longer attracts the clapper the clapper springs away from the bell back to its original position and touches the contact screw again this completes the circuit the current flows in the coil and the hammer strikes the gong again this process is repeated again and again very quickly thus the hammer strikes the gong every time the circuit is completed this is how the bell rings interesting application of an electromagnet isn't it so in a nutshell by turning an electromagnet on and off we made a useful thing an electric bell using this electromagnet we created the movement of the clapper to ring the bell with the current flow the electromagnet attracted the clapper ringing the bell but it also broke the circuit and stopped the current flow due to this the electromagnet lost its magnetic power and the clapper went back to its original position making the contact with the screw again this made the circuit complete and again the clapper struck the gong great isn't it so the next time if you get any chance do analyze the circuit of an electric bell see you next time till then have fun bye bye kids